Let's go. Let's see what we can... A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, 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 and all that he could see, 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 it was the bottom of the deep blue, see, see, see. A sailor went to see, 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 see. Fuck you! Ship sh shrivering, shrivering stone is pretty good. Basically, uh, I guess let's 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 read the description on it. Gem of Fiend's Titanite reverse weapon infusion has the benefit of undoing the effects of infusion without reducing the reinforcement level. That's all it does. Soul of an unknown traveler. These guys, you can see they kind of go in a frenzy when they see you. They kind of sprout some wings and start doing some crazy shit. Start freaking out. Just, just kind of walk up to them and R1 them. These guys I found out that hard to deal with, especially since they, you know, freeze right when they see you most of the time. Isn't there, a, like, an item? Like an important item up here? I thought there was. Oh. My bad. I already got it. <laughs> it's the fucking... The, the, the gem. I'm an idiot. You guys. Let's see. No big deal. Uh, when they spout their wings, though, they are kind of crazy. If you let them, uh, if you let them take advantage of you, they will, uh, they will plug your butt with a, with a butt plug. Then you got this mage dude. So that's pretty much the two types of enemies that we'll be facing for the next five hours of this game. Um, is the, the guys, the guys with the knives and the guys with the stabs. So get used to them. <laughs> uh, we'll go around here. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, we can drop down. I think we're supposed to, actually. Yeah, pretty sure we're supposed to drop down. Pretty sure we're supposed to. I don't remember doing anything else, so let's do it. There's a bonfire close by too, isn't there? Can we go down here too? Brigand axe. This lady's this lady's guarding guarding. What? I'm dead, man. Oh yeah, she's just guarding like a ring and and and, and a cool weapon, right? She's guarding a very cool weapon, a ring, and... Actually, I'm, I'm not sure about the ring. No, no, she doesn't have the ring. She doesn't have the ring that I'm thinking of. Oh my god, my burps are getting really bad. I'm just gonna run past him. Some people hook. He's doing the poison breath. Okay, lady. So you can see she did the sharpen her weapon. It just makes it do more damage. Just be careful. Like a lot more damage. She also has a ring that heals her, I think, when it hits you or something like that. I don't know. But she heals sometimes, for no reason. No problem. Get the brigand set. Brigand digging. And we get the brigand twinned daggers. Twinned daggers. They're pretty sweet, but whatever. These pair of daggers are preferred weapons of the brigands of a distant land. When two-handed, the wielder holds a blade in each hand, allowing for a divergence of attacks. Allow left-handed moves. It's a pretty sweet moveset, to be honest. 
pretty uh, pretty dope moveset. You know, no complaints. Butcher's knife. Um, butcher's knife with an oddly large blade wielded by the madwoman hunting the road of sacrifices. Squarely landed hits restore HP. Okay, that's why. Back in the undead settlement, the woman acquired a taste for human flesh of which she took glee in partaking. Um, I already read that. So basically it was just like, oh, she just she just really liked eating people. It's man eater Mildred right there. It's man eater fucking Mildred. Oh, I missed. A cool thing about the backstabs, you can still hit when you do the animation. Like, you see how sometimes your guy will do the animation, but he won't hit? I really like that, for one, because it means that you can still dodge backstabs, like in Dark Souls 2. But I also really like that because... Um... Uh, because you can still hit with it, but it doesn't always do damage. Or, it doesn't always backstab him, it just, uh, it just does a little bit of damage. It's like a, it's like a heavy hit, basically. I got this dude up here who's gonna keep fucking doing... He's gonna keep throwing shit at us and spitting shit at us. I really could go for a stronger weapon right about now. But, I mean, we're doing fine, like, we'll be fine, but I want to be doing more damage. Get that Claymore, get that Claymore up to plus three, maybe? Like I said, we will be able to buy Titanite Shards relatively soon. Not that soon, but, like, it's not, it's not in this area, it's in the next area. Normally you'd want to kill that guy first, but I figured since I was so far back on the bridge, I just I just say fuck it since he can only pretty much throw his poison at me. But yeah, soon we'll get ashes and then the, and then the, the the shrine maiden will sell sell titanite shards to us, and then we can just then we can just fucking get a plus three weapon in two seconds. But I think we're coming up in another bonfire here shortly. Shortly. Mama. Don't ever tell my Joey. Let me go back and see if I can't get that crystal lizard. I think there's a crystal lizard. I remember a crystal lizard. Can't remember how to get there though. Do you just hop down? Do you just jump down? No. No, you don't hop down. No, you don't. Do you really just jump down? I mean. I guess you just jump down. I guess you just jump down. Okay, I mean... Can you even jump down? How safe is it to jump down? Well, we can definitely jump down here. And there's a few dogs down here, I think. Yeah. I was gonna say, maybe just one, but then... But then I was... Sorely fucking mistaken. Burrell Divine Tome of Kareem. We get the Kareem Tome. That is pretty... Tome, that's pretty cool. Of course we find it in its Braille. Um, and we got Morn's Ring. Let's read. Let's read some descriptions, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say? Boost Miracles. Malformed Ring given Knights of Kareem. Boost Miracles. Morn served the goddess of Katha. 
and later became an apostle of the archbishop. They labored together to provide comfort to the suffering. And we also got the tome. Tome. Sacred Braille Tome of Kareem filled with advanced miracles. Give to the storyteller to learn advanced Kareem miracles. In the way of white, there is a tradition of placing great faith in the words of those of the blind, and Braille Tomes are not unusual. Okay, well... No wonder they're literally fucking everywhere. This guy's got red eyes, so he's stronger. Because that's just, that's just how the game works. When you got red eyes, you're just stronger. But then you just come back up here, so... No problem. Yo! Where are my crystal lizards at, son? Oh. Okay, I guess I guess nowhere. <laughs> oh yeah, duh. <laughs> it's a bonfire. So this this area is actually a little tough, if I'm being honest. There are some pretty tough enemies here. Um some pretty annoying stuff to deal with, but we'll we'll get it. We'll get it done. No worries. So this is Horace and Henri. Henri is a boy if your if your character is a girl, and a girl if your character is a boy. So Horace, all he does is grunt at us. So we made it to the halfway fortress. Sweet. <laughs> 